Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wonderless Life here on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. Today is all about the Tuscan wine, specifically the Brunello wine. So let's get sipping. Are you subscribed yet? Because you should be. So go ahead and hit the subscription button and the notification bell because we have so many more Tuscany videos coming your way. This video is made in collaboration with KM0 Tours. They have the same company we've been traveling with, so there are other videos. I will link them all down below. And if you like what we are doing today, which is hitting up an abbey, two wineries, hitting some incredible view spots and eating well, then I will leave the links down below so you can check out all the cool tours they do. But for now, we are gonna go get sip and some wine because we don't have to drive. Let's go. Sant Antimo is an ancient abbey inhabited over the centuries by the Benedictine monks. The present church though was built in the early 12th century, but the origins of the abbey are much older and the monks still live here. We have made it to the first vineyard of the day. This one is run by the Tornesi family and it has been in the family since 1865. Can you believe that? This is so cool because they have two different areas in Tuscany with the vineyards so they can get the best of this area and the best of that area and then create an amazing wine. So this has been really cool because first of all, I just love walking through the vineyards and seeing the grapes are actually turning right now. So they are ripening right before our eyes. So they're going from the green to the red. And when I asked what um, her favorite wine was, she said, if you don't have favorite wines, we have a wine for each moment. I love that. We just got a peek at the family home and the mother of the owner, and the vegetable garden. This is like such a family business. Everything's done by hand. These ones where we're at are harvested in October. And the other one that I mentioned is harvested in September because of the difference in elevation and temperature and things like that. Super cool. Oh, did I mention we're having lunch here? Yeah, and the views are incredible. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, for John. For, for John. <laughs> for Sean. Okay, sorry. 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 <laughs> We've got strawberries fresh from the garden. They smell amazing. They do smell amazing. Fresh. Literally, she just picked them and then washed them for us. That's so sweet. Like it's, it's um, it's very strawberry flavor, but it's like sweet and sugar. It's, uh, Concentrated. Concentrated strawberry flavor, very sweet. Now it's lunchtime, we have this amazing view behind me. Does it get any better? And I have this beautiful plate of food and the couple of these things are battered and made in the style of Tuscan tempura. Uh, which is really cool. So we're gonna eat this, we're gonna try a lot of wine, we're definitely gonna be buy buying a bottle of wine. So, I mean, so far, it's a good start to the day. <laughs> Now it is time for yes. the main oh, dish. Yeah. It's pappardelle. I think I said that right. And ragu on top. So apparently this is one of the most um, traditional dishes you can hear, have here in Tuscany. And it's a flat wide noodle. And it's handmade here. Um, and the ragu sauce on top, it's like the perfect Tuscan meal to have here. And we're having it with the Brunello wine made um, like literally right there, literally. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. I think this is just one of the best Tuscan experiences you can have because it's food, it's wine, it's a view. Our final little thing here at the winery is grappa. I don't usually <laughs> like stuff this strong, so, but I always still like to try because you never know. But it's good to know they have grappa here because if you really like grappa and you come here, then it's something that you can take home and enjoy. What we bought actually though is the Brunello wine. So the 2015 bottle of Brunello wine we are gonna take home and we are gonna put it in our 
one rack and we're gonna save it for, what do you think? Like five, 10 years? Five years. Five years at least. So that's what we're taking home from here. But now we are headed to another winery that is also famous for Brunello. So let's go. We made it to the winery La Magia and these vines behind me are from 1974. That's the first that they have planted. So I think they said the first um, harvest was in 1978, um, but the Brunello is made from those vineyards. And this is such a cool place. And the view here, like in a lot of these places are just spectacular. I'm just, I mean, I'm getting in love with Tuscany as if it's hard. Just, just to show you that, um, how special this is. I actually cried when we left the last place because it was so beautiful. People were so nice. The wine was good. Like, it's such an experience to do these kinds of things. Even if it's just like, it's a day trip or it's a, it's a list to check or whatever. It's way more than that and you feel it. You feel it on the inside. So we are trying our first Brunello wine here at La Magia with this view. Mm. It is really good. It's, um, yeah, it's just really well-rounded and everything and it has that deep flavor. But I just, I think it always tastes better with the view. Like, isn't it weird how like you'll, you'll go to a winery and everything tastes amazing and then you take it home, but the view isn't there, so it tastes totally different. Not bad, but different. So, I don't know, I feel very fortunate to be trying it here with the view, with Tuscan salami, olive oil from the olive trees that I'm staring at. I mean, that's what I think about Tuscany is like the experience, like the whole food experience, and that's what's so special. That's what's special about today. So this place has multiple vineyards and one of the special things they do is they take one of their vineyards and they make an extra special wine. And I don't think you can see it, I'm gonna turn around, but um, there's a cherry tree back there and they call it like the cherry tree vineyard because there's a couple cherry trees. And there's just something about the wine in there and it makes it extra special. And we're gonna try it now because it's also three times the price in the bottle, but I've already smelled it and it smells amazing. Wow, like just so complex and really, really good. They only make about a thousand, one hundred bottles of this stuff. So, you know, it's very limited edition. That extra special wine was extra special, but we ended up buying our second bottle of Brunello here in this region because that's what it's known for. And everybody's been so wonderful. The experiences at the vineyards have been wonderful. And that's exactly why you book with somebody like Ham Zero Tours because of the way they have a personal connection and you get an experience like your family. And I don't know, that's just how we like to travel. Now we are headed back towards where we're staying for the night and we're gonna have dinner at a wine bar with hopefully an amazing sunset. We are rounding out our day here at a beautiful wine bar with this gorgeous terrace with the panorama for sunset. We have some wine. So, oh, this place is called Divino and it is in the cutest little town with some other amazing restaurants that I kind of wish we just stayed in this town so we could eat everywhere. But we got some white wine to round off the day since we've been drinking red all day and we are going to try some very traditional Tuscan dishes. Yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our evening. So, cheers. Exactly, and after you crunch, crunch, crunch. 
good morning from Tuscany. The video ended a little abruptly last night because we had such a wonderful day, but it was a longer one. So we went straight to bed when we got back to the farmhouse, but everything was so cool. Oh, and the last thing that you saw might be a little confusing. Um, it was a sugar cube soaked in alcohol and you set on fire, then you blow it out, and then you put it in your mouth, and it just has this crazy sensation, like warm and sugary and flavorful, and I don't know, it was super cool. Um, but yeah, that was our video on wines in Tuscany, uh, specifically Brunello wines. I hope you enjoyed going to those vineyards. Um, it's just really cool. Working with KM Zero Tours is perfect for us because it's really about the small, local, family-owned businesses, and that's what we saw today, or yesterday. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And huge thanks to KM Zero Tours for letting us be part of this experience. And again, all their links are down below, so you should check them out. See you in the next video, guys.